Hey everybody, let's talk about the difference between data import wizard versus data loader. Both of those are essentially the tools that help you to import um, and sometimes export the data from your Salesforce org. Okay, in, in the case of data loader. So let me go to this page, which essentially will talk about the main differences. And I'll go step by step explaining what is what, right? How different they are from each other. So the first point we have, um, so data import wizard, it's used for simple import of data, right? So that's, I guess, self-explanatory. Same with this part. I guess data loader is like more complex version, which, um, will let you like way more functionality, provides you way more functionalities than data import wizard. The second point we have, uh, it, we have what? Data import wizard, it can load up to 50,000 records, meaning at one time it can support and import only 50,000 records at a time, which is sometimes, uh, essentially it's a lot of records. But when you compare it with data loader, it basically supports more than 50,000. Sometimes it can go up to fi uh, five or millions, right? Records at a time, which is a lot of data. And essentially for big enterprise, they end up gathering a lot of data they will want to import or export that such amount of data. So data loader in this case wins and it's better. So we have a third point, which basically tells you what objects are being supported. So in my understanding and in my experience, both of those orgs support a lot of uh, custom objects. So essentially you can export and import data for uh, custom and standard objects. Um, and then the only difference, I guess, for uh, data import wizard, it only supports account contact leads and solution for a standard a standard uh, uh, object, while data loader will support all the standard objects. Okay. So, we have um, fourth. We have fourth um, section, which is talking about uh, scheduling, right? So we all know, I guess, that scheduling is not being supported with um, data loader because essentially because you have to like schedule you have to first download the tool and install to your local machine while data import wizard it comes directly it's already available as a tool and you don't need to do any installation okay so i guess this point is talking about installation so you can see that data loader and then in one of the videos, maybe I will show you how you can do the installation to your local machine. And uh, it's a long process. And then you also have to install some of uh, packages or Java, depending what um, operating system you're using. So, okay, I can, sh so if I'll show you also later how they both look. So another section we can say, uh, the fifth, right? Uh, so, so the delete operation is not available. Okay, yeah, you cannot essentially delete uh, records with data import wizard, but you can delete with data loader all the records specifying uh, in your org. Okay. So we talk about six, let's talk about seven point. The duplicate can be ignored while executing the import process. 
and so essentially it's self-explanatory so you can basically ignore a duplication while while with data loader you cannot and you cannot you're not allowed essentially it will not let you import or export data when there's a duplicate duplicates okay um, so the last section is talking about it cannot import the opportunity in cases and and this section is basically data loader is essentially better right but as I was mentioning it's external tool and you have to install it and for example if I am on my org right here I can go to setup and look for data wizard wizard right so that's how it looks like while I cannot look for data loader I have to actually download it so here see it, this section will provide you installation and guidance you have to follow okay so that's the main difference um, with this tools but I actually have this installed maybe I can even show you loader mm, it's not really out here no it's not gonna open up but essentially it will look like something like mm, like this okay so in my next videos maybe I will try to actually demonstrate how both of those tools work so you guys at least understand um, how they work but for now you are ready to tell the difference between these two tools and how they work and but main thing you just need to remember that data loader has to be installed to your local machine while data import wizard is already available in any org okay so you guys um, this is what it is hopefully you get to learn more um, and then follow up on my links that I attach in this video and let me know if you have any questions thank you